Airport, EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2018. Talking with an old friend of the business, Rob Rollison. I'm Dan Johnson. We are sitting on a float equipped Aerotrek 240. Yes. And you actually don't do floats, but here is one. So let's talk through how that works. I say, you know what? I just bought this new 240 from you, and I love this thing, but I live on a lake, Rob. What are my options relative to floats? What would you recommend to me? I don't believe you sell them, you said, but if yeah. I said, but that's what I want, what would you tell me, Rob? Okay, well, our customers can order in either an A220 tricycle tail dragger or A240 tricycle gear with float brackets. It's a $300 option, and then after they own the plane, they can have whatever sort of floats they want installed on it. Straight floats, or most people go with an Amphib float, like these Claymar composite floats from Canada. So in order to do that, to make a modification to an airplane, there's a part of their whole LSA rule called experimental light sport aircraft. Is that the direction they need to go, Rob? Yes. Our planes are all factory-built aircraft from Aeropro in the Czech Republic, and they're sold as SLSA planes, but the owner of the SLSA plane can drop it down at any time, including immediately upon purchase, down into the ELSA category if they're going to do some modifications like installing floats or perhaps some other modifications. So that's how that now works. The airplane is the same, though. Oh, it's yeah. manufactured, it's yeah. bolt for bolt identical, which is part of the regulation that's required. But then once that person says, it's mine now, yeah. I want it to be another way, perhaps one of the more common uses of ELSA is, I want to do my own maintenance, Yes. which they can do. Yes. So that allows them to do all kinds of stuff to the airplane, including make changes, which includes putting floats on. Yeah, we have about 10% of our purchasers go from the SLSA category down to the ELSA category, mostly so they can do their own maintenance, but also if they want to add floats or do some other reasonable modifications, that facilitates that. That's okay. necessary, and it works well. Great. So, so they come to you, they make this arrangement ahead of time, you deliver to them an SLSA airplane without floats, they take it home or whatever, and they... Yeah. Contact the company. Usually they'll fly it on wheels, get used to the plane, enjoy it on wheels, and then they will decide or already have decided what kind of floats they want to get and make arrangements uh, to purchase floats either from like Claymar in Canada or there's some good floats from the Czech Republic. Uh, Full Lotus makes some good you know, some good floats So there's and there's other floats out there and there'll be other floats coming along. So then the uh, owner of his ELSA can modify it by taking it to a shop, a good float installing shop, and have whatever floats he wants installed. Okay, and, and those companies that do that will know how to make that work with this airplane? Yeah, we've had uh, three companies do it so far, and yeah, the, the good float I mean, that's installers their business, know, so they yeah, know what they're doing. They know how to do it, and, regard and regard they do it very successfully. Yeah. Okay, and the airplane, I mean, I'm not, other than I see a, a little mirror up there so you can see what the yeah. status of the... Uh, that's just part of the float installation. It's right. a standard thing. But yeah. otherwise, I don't see any changes, I mean, other than the modification no. you make to allow the float kit, yeah. you Yeah, if said. they want to buy it and get it where you might, be able, might want to put floats on at any point, just get it with our special bracket float brackets, right here, huh? a reinforced, yeah, float brackets that are installed in a, in a specially reinforced fuselage, so it's ready for a lifetime if anybody at any point wants to put it on floats. Okay. And we do have some people ordering it with float brackets just in case. So. Well, when they sell the airplane, for example, if the next party wants to do all that, which they could, yeah. uh, then it'll already be ready for them. And doing that kind of stuff after the fact would be it, a it big just, deal. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah right. it needs to be done. Really good, super strong float brackets, you know, and reinforced fuselage from the factory, so it's float ready for the rest of its life. It, like if I was buying a plane if I lived in Florida, where there's a lot of float flying going on, I would even if I never personally wanted to put on floats. I'd spend three hundred dollars and have the float brackets on there, you know, to facilitate sale to sure, somebody in the future. Sure, that's a fairly modest uh, add-on yeah, to yeah. have that capability downstream, even if you never use it. Yes. From You've Canada. already got some customers that have float-equipped aerotrex, though. Yeah, Is that yeah, correct? Yes. The the first one went down to Austin, Texas, and it's on full load of straight floats. You okay. know, on those on those nice uh, inflatable floats, or dragging it up onto sandy beaches. Sure, and that'd that, be kind of fun, I guess. That went real well, and then the next plane is uh, uh, equipped with aluminum uh, aluminum Amphib floats from Float CZ in the Czech Republic. That's doing great up in, in the Montreal area. And then this new plane, an, an A240, on the Claymar composite floats from Canada. Yeah, these, these are floats. not aluminum, these are composite no, floats. No, here, yeah, so. they're, they're kind of the premium float. Okay, so let's touch bases on a few things about the airplane in general now. Yeah. We'll leave floats alone. 
they're available. You can get them, uh, yeah. get the airplane prepared for them, and then you get yeah. your own floats, and people know how to do oh, it. I should, should well, mention the engine. The standard engine on our planes is the Rotex 912 ULS, which is a 100 horse engine. And all three of the float planes that have been over here in the Western Hemisphere so far have had the standard engine. But we do have the 914 turbo ah, engine available okay. now. Okay, so uh, if you're in a high elevation and want to be on the water, that well, might be your or choice. Or just if you want to be on the water and maybe, you know, flying kind of heavy or, or just want the ultimate performance, we do have the 914 available. Okay, that's a new thing for you, is yeah, it not? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Okay, last great. year or so. All right, yeah, we've, we've already delivered three planes to the 914 turbo. It does a really good job. Well, it and, and uh, as we discussed earlier, the 914 is actually the 80 horsepower engine yeah. with the turbo boost. Yeah. So it's that, that wonderful 80 horsepower engine that yeah. I've loved all along. It is a great, you know, 80 and horsepower engine. And you have a number of airplanes flying with the 80 horse too, do you not? Yeah, we have several, but, yeah. but uh, uh, the first few years there were a few people that went with the 80 horsepower engine, but pretty soon for the small difference in price, it's everybody was going with the 100 horsepower engine. So it's been just standard with the 100 horsepower engine I for see, now about okay. the last 12 years. So. All the, in all that time, tell us a little bit about the numbers of Aerotrex flying. Well, first of all, you know, the planes are manufactured. Aerotrex and yeah, Aeropros. Yeah, Aeropros are Correct. manufacturing in the Czech Republic. They've been doing it since 1990. Same, same four young men that started the company in 1990, still working their day, doing a great job. They've manufactured over 550 factory-built planes on this design. It's been developed over the years further, of course. Uh, in the U.S., under the SLSA rules, we began deliveries in April 2006. And we've delivered a few over 125 planes so wow. far, and just continue steady. So you're you're you know, better deliveries. than a quarter of their total production right here in the U.S. Then. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Nicely, nicely done. Yeah. You've got folding wings on the airplane. Yeah. Yeah. Our planes are standard. It's a standard feature All with of quick, them have that. quick folding wings. Yes. Okay. Um, One person quick folding wings. And uh, modest prices. We don't need to go into the numbers, yeah. but they're. Quite affordable, I'll just say it that way. And of Relatively course, it depends speaking, on what yeah. you put on them yes. and like that. Yeah. But uh, and available, and from somebody who's in the business a long time. Yep, yep, appreciate that. All good stuff, Rob. How okay. do people find you to get even more information? Where do we, where do we put? Well, the best thing to do is go to our website. And what's that? Aerotrek dot Aero. There you Aerotrek go. Aerotrek Aero. All right, very good. Yep. Lots of information about Aerotreks over the years, about floats, and all kinds of affordable aviation. That's all available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Rob Rollison and myself here at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh okay. 2018. Thanks a lot. Don't miss the 15th Annual Sport Aviation Expo at the Sebring Regional Airport, January 23-26, 2019. The Sport Aviation Expo provides the opportunity to review aircraft and do demo flights. The event features light sport aircraft and includes kit planes, powered parachutes, trikes, gyros, amphibians, drones, ultralights and electric powered aircraft. With over 150 different aircraft on display, including the Aerotrek line of light sport aircraft. Sebring is a show where attendees can spend time with factory reps, checking out their dream plane, hanging out in the forums for the day, or just passing the time hanger flying with friends old and new. There's also a long list of great speakers with talks ranging from informative to inspirational. Again the dates for the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo at Sebring Regional Airport are January 23-26, 2019. Look forward to seeing you there.